All right, so I did some stuff that was difficult to show because it's so tiny. So I put on these rudders and these dive planes. I put a little plastic pin up there because on the plant it just floats, but I would think it would have some kind of connection. There's a the little elevator part. Um, then there's a little round piece you can see that connects around. And then there's a couple of, I've made them out of plastic, um, little stabilizers, which I assume are there for to help that. Then there's this main rudder strake down at the bottom to give stability. And then there's a little propeller that worked out just amazingly well. Again, these were difficult to put together to show on, on, on to show everybody. That's what made it difficult on making a video. So that's why I put those together. Uh, they're very straightforward. They're just a lot of very care, a lot of care and being delicate and, and genteel is the biggest issue. Now, here's some forward dive planes. They are um, handed, and there's a forward and a back, and then there's that little piece that's going to give, put at the base, that's going to give it a little bit of shape. Now, with the little um, laser cut parts, they're actually right there. And that laser cut part is very delicate, and they work really nice. They even have a, a crook in them so that you can bend them the way they're supposed to be bent a little bit, so it will suck right up to the side of the hull. Um, but they're going to go right up forward. Um, right there. And you'll see when you look at that, it looks like the round piece is supposed to go forward and the longer piece goes towards the back. And it turns out that's the way they fit, and they fit beautifully. But every picture I see of the real boat, that's not the way they seem to go. Um, but anyway, there's that middle piece that I put glued in place. And it's very thin, but it makes a difference. And you can see it's got an angle on it, and it will fit right where that little dot is, right where the crook of the angle is, fits where that dot, that would probably have been some kind of a, um, you know, an axis to move on. So I slide that in, and uh, all these need to be as butt joined, which works really, really well. And I'll just put a little bit of uh, glue along the, um, along this piece, and right there is where it f registers on that dot. So I just put a little glue on one, make sure it's not too, too much. And then you slide it on and make it as straight as you can. You know, you, 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 in this case, I just want it to be as horizontal and stuff as I can get it. Um, and uh, clean rather than showing like in a position for diving or something like that. So I just put this thing in and there's a little angle against the hull, but that piece fits really nice. When you line up that dot, with that neat piece, you can see, uh, even with this video, you can see that it lines up very well. And there's a nice angle there, and it runs right up against the hull. Um, looks really nice, I think. Um, and it comes out, I just make sure it's straight and dries. And uh, then you just put on the other side, but you can see what it's supposed to look like. Um, again, I'm not sure what direction it's supposed to be. Part of me thinks that makes sense, what's there on the UB-16, because in terms of how it would um, sort of hit the water and impinge on the water to make the nose go up or down, I would think maybe having that, that larger, the, the larger um, surface out front may in fact help that process, but I'm no engineer. Um, it just looks kind of funny to me, but um, there you go. The only models or the only pic images of this sub that I've seen that have it looking like this are models, and they're models of this paper model, <laughs> just like mine. So it is how it's designed. Whether it's correct or not, I don't know. But overall, it sure looks nice. Um, so I'm not all that worried. Right now I'm going to leave it as is. If I find out later that it's supposed to be um, uh, the other way, It'd be easy to remove. I just have to modify them a little bit and, and put them on there. But we'll see what I come up with. I'm really not certain that um, it's that much of a problem. Uh, again, I'm glad that it looks as good as it does. Um, here I am just making sure that it's straight, uh, making sure that it, it, it eyeballs as straight as I can make it. But, you know, there, there you go. There's the whole... The whole nine yards and uh really starting to look like a submarine now um i think it's really kind of elegant in a weird sort of steampunk punk sort of way uh neat